Okay. Let me, the first lesson, I know we only have one, but the first lesson is always kind of the toughest because I, I want to explain a lot and I'd like to give her like a blueprint or a roadmap to follow like really the rest of your life. Okay, so this is as much for you, your mom, dad, your coach, whoever, what I'm saying. Even though I know she wants to run around and hit the ball, here's what I'd like you to do. First off, good little athlete, good hand-eye coordination, quick, fast, there's a lot of good attributes to work with. So that's all positive. Now, what's going on? With the forehand and backhand, she does a classic, what I call WTA stroke, the way most of the women hit the ball. She turns her shoulders. You do what we call a loop. She takes the racket up. It goes behind the body. Then it gets under the ball and you come around. On the backhand, she takes the racket up. She actually puts it down too soon and you go low to high. Because in your head, it's always been told you low to high, get top spin, high over the net, keep the ball in play, yada, yada, yada. This is gonna be much different. This is gonna be much different today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the most optimal, the best way to hit a forehand and the best way to hit a backhand. Now, there are a few girls out there, even on the tour, that do this. Most of them don't. All the guys with the best forehands and the best backhands, they do exactly what I'm saying. Now, she probably didn't remember Justine Hennon. I don't remember her. She did this stroke the way I'm teaching it. Okay? Kutsnova does it a little bit. Stozer does it a little bit. But most of the girls, Serena, Venus, uh, Sharapova, they all go the other way. What I want you to do is try to do the stroke that I'm going to teach you. And what it centers on is this. It makes the racket go faster, but it's a shorter stroke. So if someone was playing a game of tennis, and they said, I can make the racket go faster, and it's shorter, I'd say, I want that one. Because what happens is, see right now, the balls don't come fast. Eight, 10, 12, even 14. Once in a while, there'll be a fastball. It's all relevant. As you get older, the game is gonna come, the ball is gonna come much faster, much quicker. So what happens, Dad, is this. If the kids have bad grips, which you don't, bad, like wait, big crazy grips or crazy back swings, it becomes problematic. So you're spending a lot of time, a lot of money, and the coach is saying, your back swing's too big, your elbow's too close, hit the ball in front, you're already getting a little bit of that right now. That could be because your footwork too. I don't want to say it's all technique. But when you see Federer and Djokovic and these guys hitting the balls like this, look, and then you see other people like you, you go like this. She does, she does like a loop, an arc, a rainbow, a banana, candy cane, <laughs> Ferris wheel. She goes like this and around. We're better than these guys. They go what we call the outside. She goes what we call to the inside. And then she gets under the ball. Now, watch this stroke. And then we'll start and I'll show you how to hit it. Let's just say I turn my shoulders and I set my racket here. There's a clock. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The racket's set at 5 o'clock. And there's a dog there. I'm tapping the dog on the head. Now watch this. When I pull the racket, what I mean, when I swing the racket, listen to the head of the racket. Watch this. Now watch this. You couldn't even hear it. See, this is faster, it's all physics. Because I got the racket set up to the outside, I drive the leg and hip, which you do, you drive the leg and hip first and the racket goes on its own because of the way I set it up. See, it has a little wiggle. And that's what you see with the guys that hit more uh, the ATP forehand, where you see most of the girls, they go like that. So what I'd like you to do, and I gotta chop it up at first, ready position. A, go ahead and turn like your coach wants. Perfect, no problem. Now here's where it gets wrong. Yeah, okay, from this hard. position, look, from this position, see the 90 degree angle? What should happen is from this position, the elbow, for right now I can't have you flow, the elbow is gonna extend to five o'clock. See what she does, she does this great, no problem, looks good. But then she goes like, she goes like this. The elbow goes back, and the racket goes this way. 
See how the racket went that way? Now, here's what Federer does. Watch. Here's what Djokovic does. Nadal, Dimitrov, Roddick. Okay, they go that way. So what we're going to do... The same Western grip. Huh? Same grip. Same Western grip. Grip doesn't matter. The grip has nothing to do with it. Like all the grip does is orientate the racket face. Now, if someone was way, way under, I would say we got a problem, but that's not. What I'm talking about is just biomechanics. I'm talking about where this thing's going to go. Ready position. A, go ahead and turn. Okay, B, tap the dog. Now, when I say tap the dog, I want the racket head above the wrist. See how it's above? Now, drive your leg and hip and just pull the racket to your head. But do it with more energy, like a tiger. Yeah, but what? So if she relaxes her hand, it should go like this. See how the head flip? Relax your hand. Pull it. Yeah, see what happens is once she gets it to five o'clock, she's done. Now what's gonna happen is when she fires her leg and hip, the racket goes this way, that way. Now look at the end, see everything's on this side of the body and she already has the elbow away. The elbow is never gonna be into the body. See, so I've got a shorter stroke but because I'm producing energy in the head of the racket by the setup, the, you're not gonna go like this, look. Not gonna go like that. When she pulls it and drives the leg and hip, watch it goes. And the racket almost will hit the leg. This is where you see better to be trough. You see when they pull it, the racket, it flips, rapid. It goes, here comes the ball. It goes right to the outside. He pulls it and the racket flips. It goes like that. This doesn't matter. That's all the stuff. So, so A. B. Now, fire, fire, yeah, that's okay. Fire your leg and hip. Pull it. That's the stroke. But she goes way around to the other side. Showtime. Let's go. That's right. That's why you're here. I'm going to get her a four. Come on, let's go on it. side of my body watch see what she did she went just like this she put right before she did it she kind of started doing that and then it didn't really flip see mm. if it doesn't come from the outside it's seven inches it goes down and back and I'm putting energy in the head of the racket that produces power here we go a B don't move it even if you can't get any power just pull the hand forward better and then I'll talk about the next step. That was better when you did. A, good job. B, don't move it. Use your leg and hip. No, let back. Watch. The leg and hip. Watch. The leg and hip, Dad. The leg and hip. You gotta fire the leg and hip. A, B, good job. Don't move it. Don't move it. Don't move it. Charlotte! Hustle. You hear the sound? Yeah. See, it's a different sound. There's a different sound. Did that surprise you? See, she, she goes, whoa, where'd that come from? See, I made the head go faster. And at the end of the day, what tennis is about, big, big picture, how hard can you hit the ball mm. and keep it in? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I keep it in going like easy, 
I mean, that's what you see at the highest level, especially yeah. the guy just ripping the ball and it stays in. Yeah. So if you want to know what the ultimate thing is, but when you have a bigger swing and you start to feel pressure, you got to slow it down. Yeah. That was awesome. You got power for free. Free <laughs> is good. Free is good. Let's go. Keep going. A. B. She's done. She doesn't do anything except pull the racket and fire the hip first. Don't move it. Okay, close. You're in the game. A. B. Don't move it. Just your leg and hip. Don't move. Almost, but she went just like this. Look. Yeah. Mm. That's she, the... she, she doesn't think. No. It's like all the kids. You got to understand it. We're trying to work on this for last six months. No, she yeah. doesn't think it's going to go under yeah. the ball. She's going, how am I going to get under it? She doesn't understand. By doing it, it's just going to happen. Yeah. She yeah. doesn't think it. Honey, you have any questions? You understand? Good. A. B. Don't move it. See where it is? Don't move your rack. Just pull it. You're close. And don't cross the court. A. Right there. Don't move that rack. Don't move it. Probably the first time she ever hit it in the net, someone said it was good. <laughs> good job, good job. A, B. I'll be telling you, she deserves, deserves credit. Whoever taught her to go all the way back at this position, whether she watched the videos, what? Excellent. Yeah. Awesome. Don't move it. Just the leg and hip, leg and hip. Mm. Good try. Nice. A, B. The cock a little bit right there. You're done. You're done. You're doing good. Go cross court. She's still doing dad what we call pre rolling. Right before she hits it, she goes like that because she thinks it's going to be easier than to get under. See, if she does it from here and pulls it, see, when I pull it this way, look where my racket goes. See, it went back on its own and I maximize the speed of the racket. But when you do that, she's not really keeping it at seven o'clock, five o'clock. A, B, don't move it, just pull forward from there. Charlotte, Cincinnati, where have you been <laughs> the last five years? Go, A, B, awesome, don't move it, don't move it, don't move it, don't move it. Yeah, the difference? that's good. Does that feel like your old forehand? No. How's it feel different? Whatever you say, I already know what she's going to yeah. say. Stronger. Okay, now think, see what she said? Yeah. Stronger and shorter. Think about it. How could it be stronger, what she's saying, faster? Frankly How could it be faster yeah. if it's shorter? See, all the kids think, well, if I take it back farther, I can hit it harder. What happens is that's from what we call inertia. She's just getting it more from the arm. And what I'm doing now is I'm putting the racket in a place where I'm making the head of the racket go faster, and it's all predicated more on rotation. So for her to feel that, which I know she did, okay, think about it. She said, it's faster, but it's shorter. And that's what I said at the beginning, that you're going to feel. A lot of the kids, well, well, they won't, they all agree, even though it's different. You, normal times the kids will just say, well, I like my old stroke better because they don't want to change it. And they go all through the juniors with bad habit. And then when you get like 15, it's the same thing. Elbow too close. you got to hit more topspin, hit it more in front. You're late, your backswing's too big. It happens all the time, because the ball's gonna come faster than it does in the 10s and 12s. Yeah. You're on fire. Sort of again, mm. A. Good evening. I love that preparation. B, she's done, you're done. Don't move it, don't move it. Look at that. See, it's not doing that anymore either. Keep it up, you might win a present. A, B. Awesome. Don't move it. Wow. See, I moved her two steps there and she kept up the good technique. Hey. I love that. Did, did she get that off the video? Because or no, no, she she watched your video. Yeah, right? She's putting yeah. that shoulder because that, so far. Yeah. And that's the Only biggest the problem. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got that. Yeah, that yeah. that one is very mm -hmm. difficult. <laughs> Don't move the racket, don't move it. It moves 
moved a little bit. Ah, see, because if it goes like this, see how it's like that? She moved it, now it's like that. Hmm. Now when she swings, it doesn't flip. See, when it's like this, when I pull it, it goes this way, that yeah, way. Yeah. Hmm. So you can't move it, you gotta keep it in the freezer. A, B, you're done. All you do is leg and hip and pull. Great job. A, B, don't move the racket. Leg, hip, just pull. Again, cross court. A, B, don't move it. Don't move that rack. Don't move it. Good. Then at the end, once you pull it, then you turn it over. Like you're turning a doorknob. If you grab the doorknob, you go. It's the same concept. You don't do it with your wrist. It's the forearm and kind of the shoulder. So you pull it and roll it. Those are the key words. But the main thing that I see, the unit turn, A+. Plus. Tapping the dog, 5 o'clock, A+. Plus. The biggest thing you're going to have to do, because we got to chop it up. Mainly what I tell the kids that are here for a walk, they'll go like this. They'll go, they'll just kind of shape it and set it. They won't go like, ha, ha, like we're a karate. But I got to teach it like that to confuse the brain. If I told her to flow, she would go the other way. So that's why I'm chopping it up. But basically, you, you kind of flow and set it. But the key is setting it at 5 o'clock. Now, the number one problem that she has when she sets it, before she does anything, she goes like that. And you've got to just keep it still. Right now, it's 50-50. Keep going. So I got to get into your backhand and your serve. You're doing great. A. B. You're done. Don't move that racket. Don't move it. Good. Now, make your leg come up faster and your hip go faster. And you're going to pull it. Awesome. You're thinking. A. B. Don't move it. Don't move it. Pull. She's pre-rolling just a little bit. What am I pre-roll? She just does that. You'll hit it harder, and it will sound like a little firecracker. See how, pull it. But see, you can see how passive that is. Mm. Watch me when I pull it. See, I need energy like a bomb going off. It's like anything in life. What you put into it, you're gonna get out. Even if she sets it up, she can't go like this. I mean, she can't go like a little lamb. Are you a lamb or a lion? All right, <laughs> let's go. Lambs get sacrificed, let's go. A, B, don't move it. Don't move it, just pull. You're in the game. A, B. Don't move it, don't move it. Good. See if you can hit everyone over there. A, B. Awesome, that's so right. So right. Don't move it. There it is. There it is. I mean, your dad can literally take a racket and you can almost put it behind you and you shouldn't hit the racket. A. B. Don't move it. Do not move it. Don't move it. Just pull. See, she feels in her brain. How am I going to get power? The power is going to come by how I set it up and from this. See, power starts from the ground. The leg and the hip, this is what we call the kinetic chain. The legs come up, the hips turn, it goes to the trunk and out the arm, and that's why you see these guys' forehand looks like a slingshot, where the girls look like they're going like that. Mm, like that. Not all the girls. I'm not picking on the girls. <laughs> all right, but a lot of, it's because they go through the juniors. Yeah. Even Madison Keys, who I help over at USTA, she goes, Rick, it's faster, it's shorter, I hit it harder, I get more spin. I can't do it, I'm 17. So Madison Keys, she's like top 15 in the world right now. So she just plays from a, and I'm not saying her forehand's bad, but it ain't Roger Federer or Rafi and Nadal. I mean, it's- Long left thing. Yeah, but, just, yeah, you know, but, it's gonna, and when you get tight, and everybody gets nervous. When you get nervous, then we find out who has great technique. Because if you're a little, any, like you can do anything you want when you're confident, I mean, in general. But when you get nervous and it's a more complicated, more goes wrong. But when she, she, she should move, when the ball is bounced there? What'd you say? When she what should move, she what time? Means you, to, you told, no, move, don't move, don't move. No, I don't, don't move the racket. Oh, okay. oh not the feet. <laughs> no, you can always move the feet your whole life. A, B, 
Hmm, little bit power. like this. So I like. A, B, don't move the racket, just pull it forward. Look. Hold it, you hear the sound? Yeah. Now, watch this. Do your old stroke. Watch where the racket goes. Do your old stroke. Look. Ah, uh, you're doing mm. back money. No, no, I wanted her to do it wrong. Yeah. See, I want a reference point. Do you see how, didn't you feel jammed? Did you feel jammed? Did it come off your racket a little different? See, it, it, listen, I'm not saying you can't do that. I'm just saying it's not optimal. Right. Get a quick drink. I know it's hot. You're doing great. Good. But at least you got the correction that yeah. she really, you know. That hot but hand grief, moment was I the crucial one that we can Because she watched your it. video and I always said, uh, do like this, tap, tap the dog, you told But me. then the key is yeah. don't move it. And then uh, she, but, she but, liked that. But here's the key. See, once the kids put the racket mm. there, they're going, I'm not going to be able to get power. Yeah, That's what they think. I can't the get power, the so mind. they so yeah, they go back the like that. Like they, see, you don't understand. These guys, when they they go, they do this because they want to get momentum. And watch, if I stop the camera, better. If I stop the camera, Nadal, they're all the same yeah, place. Same. They're all the same place. They're all on the hitting side, and that's why when they swing, you see space right. here. They hit the ball in front that much farther than most of the kids and the most yeah. of the women. But grip is not any grip you the can grip, Because she has Western grip? Well, if she has Western. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem... Okay. She had we just trying to change it to... No, no, it's good. I saw her earlier, like, way under, and then now she's semi-Western. Yeah. The, what the grip does, the grip orientates the racket. Look, mm -hmm. continental, Eastern, semi, Western. So how I just held it, see how the racket changed? Yeah. See, that all, that's all the grip does. Now, it's better to have a semi-Western okay. for a girl because you can get the power and spin. With a Western, in general, you might get more spin, but when you're older, you need more pace on the ball, and that's not the best way to do it. Okay. And you gotta have very fast hands. But the grip has nothing to do with the stroke. Okay. I can do the stroke with a Continental and Eastern. I can do the stroke <laughs> any way, okay? Um, but then, how the racket face is, the grip does orientate it. That's all the grip does is change the face of the racket. But even if I did this, if I went to seven o'clock, I'm sorry, five o'clock, see I'm tapping the dog, and I pulled from here, it's still gonna flip, but mm -hmm. it's gonna be hard for me to get spin because I have a continental grip. Eastern, yeah. semi, western. A few more, because I gotta get into your backhand. The backhand, the timing. I'm gonna do it. Do it on your own now. A, good, don't move it. Don't move, just pull. No, nope, she went back. Yeah. And there's actually an interesting thing. Yeah. When she does that, they kind of come at me. And when she does it, the head goes faster, and she actually hits on the outside and goes mm. cross court. See, it's actually making her a little late, which I don't really care about. Just pull it from there. Do not go back. Just pull the racket straight up. Again, cross court, buddy. A, B. Don't move that rack. Don't move it. Don't move it. There it is. Different sound. Yeah. See, I don't. You could look the other way, and you could probably guess by the sound if she did it right by yeah. just hearing. It. A, B. Don't move it. Promise. Don't move it. Don't move it. Don't move it. Don't move it. Oh. So good. So good. Go boom, boom. I'm gonna move you, but do not move that racket. Don't move it. Don't move it. Don't move it. Oh. Kind of. Pull it. It's a pull. So if I got, if I grab the hold of a rope, see if I had a rope, to, if I'm gonna pull it, I wouldn't go like this. I'd go like that. But she's used mentally to always going that way to create mm. the power. But the power is gonna be from a forward motion, but the power is gonna come from the leg and hip, and the racket goes the other way. See, when I go this way, the racket, see the racket doesn't go like that. When I pull it, the racket goes this way and that way, watch. See, it went that way and that way. It flipped and because I have it at five o'clock. Where on her old stroke, she set the racket up maybe at seven. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Good, you? Great, good to see you. Good to see you. A, B, didn't think I remember. Don't move it, don't move it, don't move it, don't move it. Good, good. A, B, don't move it. 
Do not move that racket. Don't move it. She moved it. Find the racket. A. B. Keep it right there. Keep it right there. Keep it right there. Keep it right there. No, no. You got to hit cross court. One second. Gotta go cross court. Are difficult. It's very difficult. Difficult. And so I think open stand, close stand. Ah, well, you gotta stop. Yeah, you gotta stop. Yeah, you gotta stop. Yeah, you gotta stop. Yeah, she does. You gotta do the same thing with the ball. <laughs> Don't move the racket. Just pull your hand towards me. Don't move it. It moved a little bit the other way. Listen, is it better than the Charlotte special? Yes. <laughs> Instead of waiting here and then doing it, I want her to get right to that spot immediately. So I got to get into your backhand. So get it, get it right to B, get it right there. Here we go. Backhand. Good. Do it again. Again. Well, you know what's interesting? We got to have a conference. This is what I'm confused about. This has nothing to do with the stroke. She's waiting for the ball with a western grip. And then when I feed it, she changes it to a semi. And I'm just curious why. <laughs> See how she's under? See, she's western. Now go to your forehand. That's See how she just changed it? So, so, she was playing with the western. Western, so far, and yeah. We just kind of just, changed but why it. don't you just, go ahead. Aren't you supposed, uh, are you supposed to do this when you're waiting? Or are you, supposed... you can do whatever. All I'm saying is, I want her to wait with a semi the sooner we put that, it's not even Western, it's kind of severe. The sooner we put the Western in the garbage can, see there's no, it makes no sense for her to go. And that's what was confusing. She's holding it there, but she does, when she, that, but she does turn it, yeah. which I'm glad. I'm glad, but why even have this, why even have the Western at all? Playing with the grip, turning, it's a semi-Western, right? Semi-Western. Well, no, go ahead and take it back. That's your semi-Western. Hmm. But you are more you're more under when you're waiting in the ready position. See how you do that again. Don't you feel you change your grip when you take it back or not? You don't? Okay, wait with your racket like this in front. Okay, so hold on, come here. Here's where I'm getting confused. You see if the racket's like this, dad, hold it continental. Yeah. See if she's in the ready position. She would either hold it like this or like that. You, does that make sense? So if you're going to be like like on the edge, you might as well have continental and then just switch it. But she's kind of holding it like that. Does that make sense? So if you're like this, like your volley, you would be like that. Now, ready position. Now, go ahead and oh, keep it continental. Now, go to your semi-western even from there. So, now put the racket like this. Turn it this way. So if she's waiting with the racket down, you should have it semi-western. See, it just feels awkward to have it on the edge with a semi or a western. You would never see that. See, if the guys, if someone does this and they're semi-western, you see how the racket's flat? They, no one would be like this. Mm. See how that looks weird? If they're like this, they'd be like that. Does that make sense? So if she does have her racket 
on the edge, she would be continental. Continental. And if she's gonna go like this, she should have semi-western. But she's waiting like that. Does that make sense? And you don't want to do that. That make that feels awkward. That's no See, is. that's why, no, she actually wasn't western. She actually was holding the racket. Look, don't you think it just looks weird? Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, if you're going to have, now that's fine because the strings are down. See, doesn't that look comfortable? Doesn't it feel uncomfortable holding it like that, like this? See, it's just, that's just painful. Yeah, you just don't want it that complicated. You don't need that. Yeah. No. See, if she doesn't put it on the dog's head, this is the last progression. If she doesn't put it on the dog's head immediately, she's going to go like this. She'll go here, and she's going to go to 7 o'clock like she did before. Look, at there's 7 o'clock, none of this is going to work from there. It's 5 o'clock. It's all on the hitting side of the body. So you got to put it down at 5 o'clock immediately. Now, put it at 5 o'clock immediately and keep it there. That's how you want it. Your daughter should be waiting for the ball like that. Look, yeah. look, here comes the ball. I unit turn. I set it. Pull it. Set it at 5. Not bad. Lower at 5. Set it right away. Set it at 5. No, no. See, she doesn't know where her racket is. She yeah. set it at 6.30. If you have it, it, it it's not going to flip. It will. It might be a little shorter than the Charlotte Special. But mm -hmm. That's not what this is about. Anybody, your dad can tell you shorten your stroke. That's not what this is about. Come on. Where's the, oh, two things. You hit it cross board. Show me where the dog is. Without the ball, she's good. Ready? Again. Put it on the dog's head at five. Better. Come on. Put it there at five. I gotta rush you. Not bad. Again. Put a little lower on the dog's head. Put it down there. Right. Put it down there. Put it down. No, no, you went like this. She went here mm, and then there. Like this. Yeah. Put it on the dog's head and you don't move it. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. No, you went this way first. Like Do your leg and hip first. Your leg comes up and your hip turns. Put it at five. Put it down there. Again. Put it down there. Put it down. Now keep it there. Better. Better. Backhand. Okay, I gotta explain something because your backhand's incorrect. I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on. Okay. Watch it. I should watch it. you on the back. No. Yes, back and I was. So important. I'm not going to get too deep into the stroke because I want to do your serve today too. But I want you to understand one thing. Biomechanically, when the racket head is above the wrist, when the racket head is above the wrist and you swing the object, whether it be a, a golf uh, swing or a baseball swing, when the racket head is above, you with me? And you swing that object for, for, for free, it goes faster. If the racket head, the club head, or the bat is below, okay, it still works, but it won't go as fast. It's just science. Okay, so the timing of her backhand, I don't really like. It. So watch. As soon as the ball comes, I want her hands to go straight back, right arm straight, left elbow a little bent, racket head cocked. So she's waiting like this. She's waiting like this. The hands around the waist or the pelvis. The hands around the waist or the pelvis. Right here. Now, from that position, she doesn't move the racket. It's, let go of the same for a second. Look familiar? Kind of the same theory, yeah. but the other side of the body. And this is what you see Djokovic, Murray, Rafa. They all do the same thing. They get it all the way back. So the strings, the hands are around the waist. Strings at your mom. 
She's going to pull with the right arm. You're going to pull with the right arm and push with the left. Hmm. So it's a pull push. What she does is this. I feed the ball. She puts a racket right here. Here's what you do. Okay, I feed the ball. She puts a racket here. The ball bounces. She goes up. Hmm. Then she puts it down. And then she swings low to high. So watch this. You do something like this. Now watch me. You tell me which stroke looks better. You didn't do the loop, she, she right? Doing both loop and uh, yeah, so both. But see, my racket is, I guess, looping, Master. but it's a byproduct of pulling. Yeah. See how when I pulled everything, the see how I did that little candy cane? She's trying to manufacture everything, and it's yeah, too big. Plus, the racket head, she's pulling it or swinging it when it's down. So, the, what I want to try to accomplish is, now, do your stroke from there. She doesn't do that. That's totally different. Is that your normal backhand? No. No. <laughs> Look, so she's going to have it all the way back. And all she does is drive the leg and hip and pull it. I don't want a bubble loop. Mm. Fire. Don't go back. It's all... Good. Now, the left hand. Set it. The left hand's going to relax. So when she does it, it goes down and gets under the ball so she can get her top spin. Mm. You'll see. You're thinking... You're thinking. Okay, just, yeah, put your racket in. That's good for now. I just want to see what's going to happen. No, see how she put it down first? I want her to swing the racket when it's caught. Look. You got to swing when it's up. Go, whip it from there. That's what I want. So you gotta wait longer with it up. That's all I want to try to get on this. Better. Don't move that rack. Better. You're Must here for pop already. Don't move the racket. So now, when you pull it, relax your left hand. All right. Good. 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 Yeah. But you're gonna swing whatever word you want to use when the racket head is up. Keep it up. Pull it. Yeah, relax that left knee. No. Mm. Yeah. Like this. Watch me. <laughs> See how it just goes. You're going to get all the way back. Hands will right there. Don't move it. Hmm. Come on. Here we go. Don't move it. Don't move it. Just go like this. Relax your left mm. Faster. That was good. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Set the racket. Set it. Get your hands around the waist. Now, see another thing. She doesn't really use her legs and hips as fast as I want. And if she did, she would realize that's really what starts the engine. Yeah. That's what starts the power. <laughs> Watch it. So it's a pull with the right, a push with the left. The left is like a left-handed forehand, but it only works if you get it all the way back. Ready? <laughs> and so this is what you see with me, Djokovic, look. Hmm. He drives the leg and the hip, the racket goes this way, that way, that's the flip, yeah. and he comes through, look. But you don't see it go that way. They get it all the way back and they set it. You gotta set it. But you've got to really pull it and use the leg and hip. Freeze it. See how it flipped down, and that creates the racket head speed. 
Good. And then throw it back the other way. Don't move it. Don't move it. Carolina. Again. Don't move it. Here's a pop. Good. Now, can you do it from the ready position? If you do it from the ready position, I will give you a credit. Don't move it. Don't move it. Not bad. Hold it longer. See, the first thing should move the leg and the hip, but what? Look, I hold. I don't go. It's kind of like the forehand, how she leaked it back a little bit. Yeah. Once it's set in the freezer, pull it. But you got to get more from the base of the leg and hip. Don't move it. Don't move it. Come on, buddy. Mm -hmm. Don't move it. Don't move it. Good try. When I say don't move it, you can move your feet. Hold it. Don't move that racket. Really relax that left hand. That's going to help you get under. Don't move it. Better. Now, ready position. Now, do your old back knee. It wasn't that long ago, so I know you remember. Watch this. Do your old back knee. See how the racket was down? Now do the new one. Get it back. Set it. Keep it up. Keep it up. Does that make sense? Pull with the right. Moment of truth. The new forehand. The new forehand. Will she set it at five o'clock? No, the new forehand. Forehand, forehand. Little Charlotte. The new forehand. Will you set it at five? Set it on the dog's head. Set it at five. Set it down there. Not bad. Tap the dog on the head hard. Going. Right at five. Set. Ready? Now. Even though your mom and dad have seen this a lot, do your old stroke. The helicopter. Wee! <laughs> now the new one. Tap the dog at five. Tap it hard. Get it at an angle. Tap it at five. No, you got it at 630. Yeah. No. Five. Better. See, I, before she even hits it, I can see the orientation. Mm. Remember what I said. This is seven to ten inches that we're talking about. It doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're swinging the object, it changes the whole complexity of the swing. Quick drink, I gotta look at your surf. I'm sure I'm gonna have to do surgery on that. Video bang bang. One kill again. She just asked me when would I hit open and closed stance. Good question. Okay, there's two. There's two school of thought. If you have enough time, okay, and the sun's shining and you got all day, and you can step into the ball, go ahead and step in. See, the the footwork is all predicated or dictated on the speed of the ball. Okay, if you have enough time and you want to step in, step in closed stance, square stance, whatever your coach or anybody has said. But if it's a state of emergency or you're in a state of flux and you don't have time or you're really wide off the court, which if you're wide off the court, you're probably rushed, you would play more semi or open stance. So to answer your question, there's not a wrong way or right way, there's really a better way. It depends on the speed of the ball and where you're at on the court. Now, she should have a lot of time to step into the ball now. But all that being said, how do you get? Okay, when I had Venus and Serena at this age, they hit a lot of open stance on every shot. I'd feed the ball to Venus. She would just she would just wait there and she never liked to step in. Now the thing about it is you can get more what we call disguise and deception with an open stance. But if you do step in, the kids learn a little better weight transfer and you can hit it in front. But at the end of the day, you got to be able to do both, but it's all dictated on the speed of the ball. Does that make sense? So if someone's telling you open or close, ask them and the reason why, so you wouldn't. But that's really what they, because some people are going to tell you to step into every ball. You can't. Does that make sense? No. Sir.
pro athlete, relaxed motion, wiry body. So there's a lot of good things that are going on here. And without me getting too deep initially, I gotta go with what jumps out like step by step. So grab the racket. Now go ahead and take the racket back like you're gonna take it back. Now I want that Now when she goes into her motion, see how your racket is? This is what we call a 90 degree angle. We've already talked about that 90 degree angle on the fourth. You see how the elbow is in a straight line with her shoulder. See that angle right there? Watch. Now, that position will never change. She's doing good. I like her grip. I like her feet. She's relaxed. But when you toss the ball, you should have your shoulder, shoulder, and your elbow always in a straight line. No matter if you're 20 years old, this age, whatever. So when she sets up, it should look like this. If you saw, if you look on the computer, or you can see it now, there's a straight line between this, this, and that. Here's your dog. See how it's like down. Now, what that means is, it takes it longer to get up, it takes it longer to get over, and it just has this ripple effect where it makes it more complicated. So. But I like, I like what she's trying to do. She's trying to get in the power position. She's bending her knees. I like what she's trying to do. It's just that when she goes like this, her, see where, this is the first thing I noticed. There's other little things, but if I can get you to go like this, no matter how much she tilts, look, whether it's better, vertage, I mean, it's a constant. See, it's like a seesaw or a teeter-totter. What she's doing is when she tilts, the elbow's down too low. And that's a killer. Got it? So, without me saying anything, focus on keeping this in line with that, but I want her to tilt still. You know, she starts to tilt. Little but another little I think. I mean, huh? Can you get another look? I think it's a few. <laughs> okay, give it a shot. Don't hit your head. Now, go ahead and get it to that position. Now, better, she's thinking. Once she gets it to this position, I want her to think one correction. You see, her ball goes over the net low. Everybody's probably telling her, if anybody's ever told her her elbow is too low, if you've heard that correction from her coaches when she swings, have they ever said that or not really? Okay. Well, they should, but it's not her fault. If it starts low, by the time she gets it up and swings, it's going to be too low. But I want her to think of this and this. Watch how this looks. So you never see your daughter like that. <laughs> never. never. You see her when she swings because of weight. It's always like this. Now look at me when I serve. Look. See, see that? Look at my elbow. It's almost up by my ear. Yeah. So when I serve, the ball's going to come in like that. Hers is like a line drive. So instead of me telling her to reach up, silly, that doesn't make sense. I'm taking a part of her body that I want her to focus on. Set. So she's going to do that shoulder, shoulder, elbow, the straight line. That's the first thing. And she showed me that she can do that. So that's why I'm going to the next thing. I want her to think of this and this. She goes to hit it. Don't think of hitting the ball. Think of getting this up right away. And watch what happens. You understand? So I know you, I know she wants to get it in. So you're gonna just think of getting that up right away when you hit it. That now she wanted to get it up right away. She was gonna do it in the beginning. I didn't mean in the beginning. You gotta get the here, and then when she starts her swing, she has to do it. But that's good, at least you're thinking. Very smart. Take your time. See, that's another thing. People are going to tell you if her toss is too low, because it is, this isn't about the toss. But she does need now to toss it a little higher because I'm adding a little bit more. I'm adding a, another half a second or whatever back here. So I want her to kind of set it and then try to get this up. You know what I mean? See, I'd like you to, I'd like you to slow down. You don't even have to be You don't even do it like that. Another cover. I don't go to 90 degrees. Go to here. Relax. So she's gonna go to here. And then when she does her serve, just think of this up. Show me that move. Now 
So you never saw that much space on your daughter. Hold on, hold on. You don't want to do this either. We don't really have enough time. You see how the racket's going like this? This is what we call external rotation. That means it's going this way. The racket should come in that way. See how it's on the edge? See, when it goes like this, not good. Too many other things are going to go bad as we continue. It's like the edge goes in, the edge comes out, the edge comes up, and then we do what we call pronate. We snap the rib. So, from this position here, look, all I want her to think of is... Show me that way. Hold on. Show me that exercise. But now do the finish. Do it again. Put it together. Again. Again. I gotta hear the racket. Yeah, and it's and it's all initiated. Here we go again. Remember how we talked about that? Yeah. Watch this. See the leg drive and the hip actually make it, even though I don't have time to get into that. But I want you to look at this. See how this and this got up? I'm sure you've seen a lot of her serves, and it always looks like she's cramped, she's jammed. A lot of times it's, is the ball's too low, but you gotta reach. See, when she hits the ball, she should be up here. That's how high the ball should be. Anybody can help her with the toss. But what I want her to do is get her elbow and shoulder up. Can you do that? Here we go, set it. But don't go this way. It's gonna go that way, okay? Elbow and shoulder up, right away. Elbow, shoulder. Don't be so jumpy. Don't be so jumpy. Balance yourself. Good. Now what I want you to do, you can't move the feet. I should have started on this. Okay. I don't want... Do I want her to jump? Yeah, eventually. Do you use your leg? Yes. But I got to go down the assembly line and put it all together. But right now, I don't want her to move her feet because she's like... She's like a little frog bouncing all over the place. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a positive, but it's hurting her now. In the feet, for now, left foot net post, right foot parallel, heel to the arch, something like that, sideways T. Build in a hesitation because I want her to think for now. Hesitate. Now, elbow, shoulder up. Do it again. Relax. You gotta, you gotta get her to relax. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> See how when I when I think of this, look what it does to the racket. See how it makes it go faster the other way. Now swing. Higher. Elbow and shoulder up. 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 Better. There's your target. Don't hit it in your back. <laughs> See how she's coming around instead of over the top. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top So you better back off and get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down I'll be getting loud, you can never doubt, not what I'm about Have your f***ing cloud, it be raining now, I keep making sound Go another round, I'm legend bound, can't stop me now You don't wanna f*** with me a slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things that you couldn't believe Just tell me that I can Wanna hear it out your mouth, yeah Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use To go ahead and run my f*** out, yeah 
I take shots, I take loss, I make shots, I miss locks I tell you get big boss, you get yachts, you swing lots and pop off a big shot I ain't done chasing, got big dreams, bigger things, impatient Who's at the top think they need replacement? Who's at the top think I'm gonna erase that face it? I don't give up quick, I don't give up I won't give up this Cause I know that I want it, know that I'm on it, I'll make it, I promise After this is all completed, it comes down. But all the kids, see, she, she's looking through the net. They're little. They see the court. Do they look through the net? But that's the way it should look with the ball. Wait. So you're gonna hesitate? Hold on. You're gonna hesitate right there and then do your thing. Stop. Not bad. But you forgot the elbow thing. What? Set the racket. I said about this, that's a killer. Edge has to come in. If you externally rotate, she ain't getting any spin. Here we go. Come on. Hold. Wait longer. This is for the press. Wait, wait. Take your step on. Take your time. Wait. Elbow up. Again. Watch. Set the right. Watch it. Edge in. Edge out, edge up, then you hi-fi the giant. See, you gotta come in with the edge. Yeah. Look at the power I get with the edge, so I can pronate, listen. Look, but if you come through like this, no pop. Get your position. So you're gonna take your time, okay? Hold, a little better. Now, pretend, in your mind, I want her to pretend in her mind, Besides this, getting this up right away, she's gonna hit it on the side of the racket. She's gonna hit it on the side of the racket. Then at the last second, she goes, just kidding. Hold. Almost. Wait, side of the racket. See, she's not coming with the side of the racket. You know what I mean or not? Right, oh, good question. Which side? <laughs> Look, like if she's throwing an axe. Not that she throws axes or anything. See how the racket, this is how. Look from the back. Look at my racket, how it looks. Watch it. Look. Watch it. See how it looks like I'm going to hit it on the side of the racket. Then my arm turns out. That's called pronation. Set the racket. Here we go. Do your wind up. One more. Edge. Almost, but wait longer. Wait right here. Wait, edge. A little better. Can you see what I'm saying? The main thing you got on tape. H one. I got a present for you. Come with me. We'll pick up some balls. Good talent. Good talent. 